What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Deanna C. Welcome to the 5678. Some of you guys may know me from my other YouTube page, Divine Dance All-Star Apparel, where I do um, tutorials on how to make uniforms. But today, I want to introduce you guys to something new that I'm doing. I am doing a new podcast called the 5678. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering, what is it? What is this? Well, the five, six, seven, eight is basically uh, an all things majorette podcast uh, from competitions, music, uniforms, majorette news and gossip, uh, how to's, what to do, what not to do, um, and so many different things related to the majorette community. So first, before we go any further, I want you guys to like, subscribe, and share. We're going to do video commentary like I'm doing now. We're going to do live streaming via YouTube and possibly Facebook. Um, we're going to have special guests that I will interview and special uh, guest co-hosts and as well as tutorials. So if you've made it this far into the video, it's probably because you are interested in starting a majorette team or you already have a majorette team and you feel, you know, um, uncertain about some things and you want to learn more about the majorette community. Just keep watching because I'm going to help you, okay? So, you want to start a majorette team, right? But you have no clue, idea, you're lost, confused, and frustrated about where to actually start. Well, the first thing you need to know before you start a team, before you start advertising, before you have your first practice, before you even start, um, before you even create your name, you need to know the differences in majorette. Now, I have um, been a part of the majorette community for over five years. However, I have over 20 years worth of dance um, experience. And basically, I am trained in ballet, jazz, tap, modern, hip-hop, African, more of the traditional styles of dance. And maybe back in 2013 2014 i first learned about um majorette that we are discussing today from my experience and observation i break down majorette into three categories and those three categories are traditional hbcu and hip-hop majorette now traditional is what we think of um, with um, standard majorette, like with baton twirling and really crisp uh, movement um, and very synchronized and everything. I'm going to show you a few videos and um, pictures as I'm talking through this. So that's traditional majorette. And I'm pretty sure if you hear it, that's not what you're looking for. That's not the style that you're trying to do. You're probably more interested in the other two styles. So we have HBCU, which stands for Historically Black um, Colleges and Universities. Now, this is where most of us became familiar with majorette. It's through HBCU um, major red squads like Southern University, uh, JSU, TSU, um, uh, Alcorn State, uh, FAMU, and so many more. Majorette dance has been a very big part of black history and the black community, but it's different from hip hop majorette. Basically, HBCU um, style majorette consists of 
two different types of dancing. You have your stands and eight counts, and then you have a field show. And they do this performance to a live band. Now, most of you guys will not have access to a live band. Some of you guys may have a drum line, you know, um, associated with you, but most of you guys will be performing to live band music if you're going strictly the HBCU route. Um, that doesn't mean you have to be a part of a college. That means that the style of dancing that you're doing is HBCU. So I want to you guys to check out this video um the video I'm, I'm about to post right now is um hbcu eight counts or staying eight counts Now you see what HBCU accounts look like. It's a call and response. The captain or the lead dancer does the account, and then the ladies um, join in with the account. As um, and sometimes they may do it one by one, but typically the leader goes first, and then the um, rest of the dancers go next. Now the next um, style of dancing that HBCU majorettes do is a field show so basically this takes place on the football field with a live marching band so the marching band starts first they do their performance with their different um transitions and um, formations and then they um the majorettes are introduced um by the announcer and they come out and they do their routine usually a minute and a half but no more than three minutes and then they um march off and you know exit the field so i'm going to show you a video of that as well so I just showed you stands and I showed you feel show now this style is more jazz oriented and a little bit of burlesque if you're familiar with that term um, and it's different from this next um, style of majorette that I'm going to discuss so the next style is hip-hop majorette now this style of majorette has taken 
has taken the United States and the world by storm. Um, I saw a big influx of it once Bring It came on with Miss Diana and the Dancing Dolls of Jackson, Mississippi. Teams started popping up everywhere like popcorn, like he got a team, she got a team, like Oprah, you get a team, you get a team, you get a team, everybody get a team, you know. Um, basically, everybody and their mama want to have a team. And a lot of you guys are probably here because either your daughter or some kids in your neighborhood wanted to start a team, or you probably was a part of another team and decided to leave because you didn't like what was going on. I don't know, you know, that's not my business, but... You are here, and I just want to educate you on the differences. So hip-hop majorette is more loose um, in terms of style. It's more hip-hop oriented, but it does infuse jazz. Or let me track back a little bit. It's more like gumbo. It has a little bit of everything. It does have ballet, it has jazz, it has modern, it has African, it has hip-hop, you know, it has gymnastics, um, it has stepping, cheer, pump, all of those different um, styles of dance merged into one, and that's the great thing about it. It even has a little bit of twerking, but we call it bucking because it's a little bit, you know, reserved versus just booty jiggling everywhere you know even though you have some teams that like take it too far but typically you know your bucking is is a little bit of twerking but with a little bit of class and not ass all right all right so i want you guys to check out this video um showing an example of hip-hop majorette All right, so now you have seen an example of hip hop majorette. Um, within hip hop majorette, there are subcategories, um, and I will be doing another video highlighting those different categories. Um, it's a lot to cover in one video, and I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too much information. So now that you know the different types of majorette, traditional, HBCU, and Hip Hop Majorette. I want you guys to leave your questions and comments or anything that you want to add to this particular video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and um, be looking out for more videos that are very informational and helpful. Helpful, I'm sorry, to those new teams or teams that just need a refresher on things related to the Majorette community. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.